Some of you may be aware of the uh, hip-hop supergroup Zarface, which features um, 7L and Esoteric, and also Wu-Tang uh, Wu Clan member Inspector Deck. I would say they broke out in 2015, even though they have been around longer with their Every Hero Needs a Villain album, which I still really think is a fantastic album. Um, an easy top five hip-hop album for that year for me, and um, was really high on my year-end list for 2015 overall too. Now, unfortunately, since then, I don't think Zarface have managed to capture um, the lightning in a bottle that came from that album, to be honest. Um, they've pretty much just been dropping the same album over and over with less interesting production and less, I don't know, less interesting bars and lyrics and anything, really. Now, in theory, these albums that they have dropped since uh, should have been great. I mean, last year they teamed up with MF Doom. In theory, that should have been an album of the year contender. It ended up being the most average hip-hop album you'd probably hear during the course of 2018. I know at the time I did give it like a 6 out of 10 or a, an equivalent to 6 out of 10. I think I gave it a C grade, um, but I would drop it to a 5 out of 10, man. Um, it, it really does nothing for me. I've returned to none of the songs. MF Doom, he was barely even present. I mean... I just have no recollection of any input he had on that album, which is really, really sad, to be honest. And pretty much the same thing has happened here, to be honest. It's a repeat of last year's um, MF Doom album, except this time around it's got Ghostface instead, and Ghostface across this thing is incredibly underwhelming and lackluster to me. Most of the tracks honestly follow the same pattern, like it's the same beat copy and pasted across the entire album. I'm just not really finding any variation across these tracks and the times where there are variations um you know there's a the guest feature that does a few of the hooks or a few a few like singing sections Kendra morris is her name and yeah they're some of the worst tracks for me i'm just not a fan of her vocals the kind of like dreary tone that's given off on these tracks as well just does nothing for me. I really can't get over these beats either. Like it's literally the same 90s boom back throwback beat on every track. I just can't get a handle on any of these songs, like finding anything about them that just grabs me in any particular way. And to be honest, even a lot of 90s boom bap hasn't aged all that well in my opinion anyway. So this album just isn't for me at all. This album is very much for the people that are nostalgic for that period of hip hop and want that same thing given to them again. Fair enough, if that's what you want, you might really like this album. But for me, I'm just really not interested in this copy and pasted version of something that's already been done, the rinse and repeat, I'm just really kind of bored. Sometimes it can be great, you know, Joey Badass does this really well, he's a great rapper in the modern day that has a bit of a throwback to him and also manages to keep it really interesting, has a really good knack for melodic hooks on a lot of his songs, especially on the last album he put out. Wasn't a huge fan of it, but you could see that he actually you know, can, can craft a good song. Whereas these songs, like I said, they're just pretty much the same over and over, not really getting anything from the bars. I mean, probably that is the strongest part of the album, to be honest. I do quite like Esoteric's lyrics on some of these tracks. They sound good over these beats, like it's not really a badly made album, it's just pretty much whatever to me it's very lethargic very eh. it's kind of sad how redundant this group has become for me like it's literally everything that they've done before and they just keep copying it on each album the only difference is is that they may feature a different rapper and yet the rappers who are featured on are just putting out some of their tamest material to date. What's Ghostface add into this album? I can't really recall any verses. The only things I can recall from him is when he's referencing his older work. He does a few times on this album where he mentions 36 Chambers, he mentions Fish Scale, and it's just... I don't know, that's a sign of a washed up rapper to me. You can't tell me, look me dead in the eye and say to me, Ghostface has still got it. Has he? Like, what's, what's the most notable thing he's put out in the past 10 years? Come on, come on, what's he done? He, it's just it's just boring at this point. No original material here. There's no interesting, engaging lyricism. It's just really average, mostly. I'm just not really feeling this. And yeah, I could delve into the lyrics and kind of analyze them, but it's just one of those releases where 
I'm so in it, unenthused by the music that I can't really bring myself to care that much about the lyrics, which sounds really bad for a, for a critic to say. I mean, you know, you should take into account every aspect of an album, but I don't know, I'm just so bored by the music that I can't bring myself to pay attention to what anything else, like what else is being said by the rappers. Like I say, this is definitely for the old heads. This is definitely for people that want that nostalgia thrown into their faces. Uh, because it really does stick to uh, the trend of 90s boom bap so down to a T, it's perfectly executed. Fair enough if this is what you want, but if this is like the alternative to like modern trap rap these days, then you guys can have it because I want to be somewhere else because uh, uh, this is the other end of the extreme. It's like keeping things exactly as they've always been or you could progress things and that's fine if you don't want to progress, but I just don't want to really be a part of it. I'm gonna go 5 out of 10, really not finding anything from this album, to be honest, which is a real shame. I like their 2015 album a lot. It's not like I don't like this group at all, but I think everything since then has been pretty average, which is kind of a shame, considering how high they they were at the start. Let me know your thoughts on this. I know a lot of hip-hop heads, hip heads are gonna to gravitate towards this and love it, but I do feel like it's probably gonna get full and like forgotten and left by the wayside by the end of the year, but maybe, we'll see, we'll see. Thank you for watching, subscribe, have a good day, goodbye, thank you, let me know what you thought of this album, bye.